how to perfectly stretch the stars that we have extracted from our pictures. That's a topic as ancient as when Russell Crowman invented the star exterminator, right? But this question is once and for all settled. And how? I will explain you right after the trailer. Hey, this is Fear Into Space, I'm Sascha from Switzerland, so grüezi miteinander and thanks for watching my channel. So the topic today, we extract the stars with Star Exterminator and then we have to stretch them and that is kind of difficult. Or should I say, was kind of difficult. When I remember right, the first thing that I recommended was using the arc sign stretch partially and then continuing with GHS. Then came Adam Block's proposal to actually go with the auto stretch of the screen transfer function and make it permanent, which gave even the better stars, but did not compensate for the color loss. And now, thanks to Frank from Safety Astro, we have the perfect script and it's called Star Stretch. And it's not that I'm reproducing now all the videos that he already does, but I really want to point out the scripts that he does that really bring this hobby forward, that really change something. And that was the case with the statistical stretch, as I covered in one of my last videos, and it's also the case with the star stretch. Let's go now to my computer and I show you exactly why this is such a big thing. Welcome to PixInsight. So I will explain you everything on this picture here. That's the Pac-Man Nebula. I think that's obvious, right? It's somewhere. Oh, it's already gone. Um, yeah, I used <laughs> Star Exterminator. So there are just stars left, but a lot of them. And I think there's two things that are very good visible. First of all, we have all these stars. It's kind of really good stretched. So that's what we're all panicking about. If we now unstretch it, if we ever get back to this stage. And I think the other thing I see is that the stars are quite beautifully colored. And I think we see that nicely when we go in here, we have blue stars, we have red stars. So there's really some color in there, which we don't want to lose through the stretch. So we go now script, say the Astro has now its own directory and here we find the star stretch. So let's have a look at it. Here you actually select which picture you want to process. It auto selects now the picture that was activated. That's a great improvement that was not happening before. And then we have actually here these two settings, the stretch amount and the color boost amount. And that's what I mean, that's so cool. Because you can not only stretch it, but you also can actually boost the color, which mean, mostly means compensating for the loss in color that you would encounter because of the stretch. By the way, um, Frank has now also included a preview and I cannot tell you how unnecessary I find this. The point is, and you see it already here, there's so many stars and you cannot depict that in a preview. So that's completely pointless but some people ask for it, he did it, great, but forget it. From my point of view, you have to do this twice. First, you try it, then you know, do I, did I stretch enough? Did I stretch not enough? Did I stretch too much? And the same with the color. And then you adjust and then it's fine. So for example, here, stretch amount, I leave it now here at five, color boost amount, Let's put it at 1.10. Let's execute. Don't worry, this only looks like that because we have not actually removed the auto stretch. Okay, and that's the picture. So what do we see? If you zoom in here, I would say from the coloring, it looks really nice. It doesn't look too much, but we still have very nice color. So that's good but there's way not enough stars. So it's definitely not stretched enough. So we say undo, 
and you have to undo a few times until the whole script is undone again. So we go again, star stretch. So color boost amount 110 was fine, but the stretch amount was definitely not enough. So we go to about a six. You know, we can do now refresh preview, but does this tell us anything? Not really. Okay, execute. And that looks now pretty nice. So there's definitely now enough stars. Look at all these stars. So really, really nice. The colors are good. Even when I go down this bright star here, we definitely have not blown it out. So that's good too. So from my point of view, that's an absolute perfect stretch. If you feel later on when we combine it with the nebula, they're still now a little bit too bright or whatever, especially with Adam Block's image blend, we can then still make them a little bit dimmer. But just from a star point of view, that's really great. And, and so with minimal effort, we have now the certainty that we can do that in any case. And that's really great. So big thank you to Frank for this amazing script. So that was it already. I hope also for you, this topic is now once and for all sorted. See you next time and clear skies.